Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to all of you, my dear students. How are you all? I hope all of you are doing well, safe and sound at your home by the blessings of Almighty Allah. Alhamdulillah, I am also fine by the blessings of Almighty Allah. As you know me very well, this is Nusra Jahan, teacher of Maharashtra Preparatory KG School, Class 2, Sector 7. Welcoming you all today is our mathematics class through online. Before starting today's class, I would like to ask you some questions from your previous lesson. So my dear little kids, do you remember what did you learn in the previous class? Yes, in the previous class you have learned ordinal numbers from 1 to 10. So, my dear students, could you tell me what is the ordinal number of 2? Yes, the ordinal number of 2 is second. Well done, my dear students. Now, can you tell me what is the ordinal number of 5? Yes, the ordinal number of 5 is fifth. Yes. The ordinal number of 5 is 5th. So, my dear students, can you tell me another one? What is the ordinal number of 10? Yes, the ordinal number of 10 is 10th. So, well done, my dear students, for giving me the right answer. Now, my dear students, Look at the picture. Can you tell me what is the position of this red flower from the back? Yes, from the back, the position of this red flower is fifth. Yes, from the back, the position of this red flower is fifth. Well done, my dear students. Now, look at another picture. Yes, what are you seeing here? Yes, there are some animals. Yes, so can you tell me what is the position of giraffe from the front? Yes. Yes, from the front, the position of this giraffe is third. Yes, the Position of this giraffe is third. So, well done, my dear students. I know all of my students are very punctual and sincere about their studies. So, my dear students who are giving me the right answer, this is for you. Yes, well done, my dear students. Okay, my dear students, let's move our today's topic. Yes, today our topic is ordinal numbers. Yes, my dear students, in the previous class, we learned and wrote ordinal numbers 1 to 10. So, today's class, we are going to learn and write ordinal numbers 11 to 20. Yes, after that, we will do some book work. Yes, from your elementary mathematics book, page number 14 and 16. So, my dear little kids, at first, we will memorize the ordinal numbers 11 to 20. Okay, my dear students, let's see the spelling of ordinal numbers 11 to 20. So, my dear students, at first I have written here cardinal numbers 11 to 20. So, at first, the ordinal number of 11 is 11th. The ordinal number of 12 is 12th. The ordinal number of 13 is 13th. The ordinal number of 14 is 14th. The ordinal number of 15 is 15. The ordinal number of 16 is 16. 
The ordinal number of 17 is 17. The ordinal number of 18 is 18. The ordinal number of 19 is 19. So my dear students, be careful about this spelling. Sometimes you skip this E. Now, the ordinal number of 20 is 20. Now my dear students, let's see the short form of ordinal numbers 11 to 20. So my dear students, in the previous class, I told last two letters of ordinal numbers will add to the cardinal numbers. Then you will get the short form of ordinal numbers. Look at this chart. Here, all the ordinal numbers 11 to 20 end with TH. That means last two letters are TH. If you add TH after every cardinal numbers 11 to 20, you will get the short form of ordinal numbers. For example, let's see the 11. Yes. So at, at first, you will write the cardinal number 11. Then you will add last two letters of ordinal numbers that means th so this is the short form of 11 now next 12 yes cardinal number 12 then last two letters of ordinal numbers is th so 12 12 th 12 then 13 look 14 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. So my dear students, these are the short form of ordinal numbers 11th to 20th. Okay my dear students. Now take out your elementary mathematics book and open page number 14. So my dear students, at first look at this activity. The first one, circle seven person from right. And the second one, circle the seventh person from right. Be careful, seven persons and the seventh person are different. So my dear students, at first, let's see the first one. Circle seven persons from right. Look. Here, this is left side and this is right side. So from right side, you will circle seven persons. That means, yes, you will circle seven persons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, my dear, you will circle here seven persons. Now, let's see the second one. Yes, look here, circle the seven person from right that means you will circle that person who is in seventh position so my dear students let's see who is in seventh position one two three four five six seven yes this boy is in seventh position so you will circle this boy Okay, my dear students, have you understood? I hope you have understood. Okay, my dear students, let's see next activity. Yes, in a line, Shanti is 8 from the back and there are 5 more students in front of Shanti. How many students are there in a line? 
so my dear students at first they have drawn some circles those indicate the position of students so from the back shanti's position is 8 so at first they have drawn here 8 circle and this red circle indicates the shanti's position and there are five more students in front of shanti so after that they have drawn another more circles so my dear students to find out the total number of students you have to count total number of circles let's count total number of circles to find out the total number of students 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 yes my dear students there are 13 students so my dear students i hope you have understood this activity now you will solve these exercises students look at this line yes in this line this is front side and this is back side the question tells raju is sixth from the front and third from the back how many students are there so my dear students the circles indicate the position of the students and this yellow circle indicates the raju's position so my dear students from the front raju's position is six look one two three four five six yes raju is sixth position from the front but from the back raju's position is third look one two three yes from the back raju's position is third so how many students are there so my dear students if you count the total number of circles you will get the total number of students okay my dear students now open page number 16 yes now we will solve here exercise number 10 and exercise number 11 exercise number 10 in a line of students Rathon is 8 from the tail tail means back and there are 9 more students in front of him how many students are there in a line so my dear students look he is Rathon and Rathon is 8 from the back look this is Rathon's position and Rathon is 8 from the back but there are 9 more students in front of Rathon look there are 9 more students in front of Rathon so how many students are there in a line so my dear students if you count the total number of boys and girls in this line you will get the total number of students exercise number 11 akash is reading a book he is now reading the ninth page and there are seven more pages how many pages in this book so my dear students look he is akash and he is reading a book now he is in page number nine so my dear students already akash has finished to read 
1 to 8. Now he is in ninth page. But in this book there are seven more pages remain. Yes, seven more pages remain. So you will find out how many pages in this book. So my dear students, if we count total number of pages, we will get the total number of pages in this book. Okay, my dear students. Okay, my dear students, take out your CW copy and open today's page for writing. So at first write today's classwork number that is 11 and write today's date. After that, write topic's name that is ordinal numbers. Then you will write the question and the question is write the ordinal numbers from 11 to 20. So my dear students, at first you will write the ordinal numbers from 11 to 20. You will write the full form and short form both. Students, like this way you will write the full form and short form of ordinal numbers 11 to 20 in your CW copy. Okay, my dear students, now you will solve these exercises from page numbers 14 and 16. And you will write the solution in your CW copy. Students, at first you will do this exercise from page number 14. So, at first you will draw 6 circles from the front. Yes, from the front you will draw six circles. The circles indicate the position of students. And this yellow circle indicates the Raju's position. So, so from the front, Raju's position is six. So my dear students, but from the back, Raju's position is third. So you will draw another two circles. Now from the back Raju's position is third. So to find out the total number of students you will count the total number of circles. Let's count the circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. So my dear students, I hope you have understood how many students are there. Yes, there are eight students. Let's solve exercise number 10 from page number 16. To solve this exercise, you will draw a line by using the circles that indicate the position of students. So my dear students, at first you will draw 8 circles from the tail because from the tail Ratan's position is 8. Now you will draw another 9 more circles in front of Ratan because there are nine more students in front of him. Now let's draw nine more circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So my dear students, nine more in front of Rotten. To find out the total number of students, you will count the total number of circles in this line. Let's count the total number of students. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17. Yes, my dear students, there are 17 students in this line. Okay, my dear students, I hope you have done your work. Now, you will solve exercise number 11 from page number 16. So, my dear students, at first you will draw 9 pages because Akash is now reading the 9th page. That's why you will draw at first 9 pages. And there are 7 more pages remain that Akash won't read yet. So, this 7 page. Yes, Akash won't read yet. So, my dear students, to find out the total number of pages in this book, we have to count all, all these pages from here. Let's count the pages. After 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, my dear students, there are 16 pages in this book. I hope you have written these three exercises in your CW copy. Okay, my dear students, in today's class, we have learned ordinal numbers 11 to 20. And we have solved some exercises from your book. So, my dear students, I want to ask you some question from today's lesson. Are you ready to give me the answer? Okay, let's see. Can you tell me what is the ordinal number of 20? Yes, the ordinal number of 20 is 20th. And the spelling of 20th is what? Yes, T W E N T I E T H. 20. Well done, my dear students. Now tell me what is the ordinal number of 12? Yes, the ordinal number of 12 is 12th. And the spelling of 12th is what? Yes, it is T W. E L F T H 12th. Okay, my dear students. Now, what is the ordinal number of 18? Yes, the ordinal number of 18 is 18th. Well done, my dear students. Now, can you tell me what is the ordinal number of 19? Yes. The ordinal number of 19 is 19th. Can you spell 19th? Yes, the spelling of 19th is N I N E T W E N T H. 19th. Well then, my dear students. So, my dear students, I hope you have enjoyed today's class. Okay, my dear students, take out your diary and write today's homework. Today, your homework number is 8. And the homework is learn and write ordinal numbers from 11 to 20. Thank you very much, my beloved students, for being with me. So, no more today. See you again with another class. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Thank you. Bye-bye.